because we have a giant flower pot in here. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna see it work. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I came in this morning and I was like, I'm gonna really clean up the studio. And I did that for like 12 minutes. And then I was like, God, this is really boring. I just wanna glaze this giant pot and film a video. Seriously, that'll be the death of me. The inability to do mundane things for more than, ugh. It's just, it's brutal, it's brutal. But, the studio's messy, but we're gonna glaze this pot. And then, we're gonna load in the kiln, and then we're gonna unload pots from the kiln. So we have an exciting video today. Exciting video. Exciting video. So I'm undecided about how I'm gonna glaze this pot. It's big. You can't just like, normally I just have the tongs that dip it in. It's too big for that. Basically my options are hold it like this from the bottom and then just pour around the outside and then pour in the inside. Um, other options would be hold it like this and then pour it around the outside. Other options would be to, I think it could fit in there, so I could dip like the bottom half and then, nope, nope, can't do that. It's too big for that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other option. I think, so I'm dipping it in the Northern Lights glaze, so the first layer is gonna be all black, and then I'm gonna do a metallic green around like up here, and then I'll do a buttercream there. So then hopefully we'll get some nice, juicy, buttery drips. Let's, uh, Let's do this thing, huh? Let's get this thing. So there's our black glaze. Our trusty paint mixer. I literally still don't know how. I'm... Game time decision. I think I'm just gonna hold it like this and pour. Maybe I'll do the inside first. All right, ready? So far, so good. Worked out pretty well. So now we'll just let this dry so that I can hold it. And then I think we'll pour it from the base. And I did wax the bottom of that right there. Is that better or is that better? Nope, I like it brighter better. This is dry. So now basically I'm just gonna like hold this and pour it. Oh no, still a little wet on the inside. We're all dry on the inside. So I'm not doing this just to show off my guns. All right. Working? Yes, it is. Nice and slow and steady. Here we go. Oh, missed a spot. Oh, get that spot. Get it. Just another spot. Get that, get it. All right. Oh. There we go. So now, we got our pot. We're gonna try and just go around the top edge. So basically I'm just gonna like Pour it, scoot it. Man, if I did, if I did big pots a lot, I would definitely need to figure out a better system for this. So now I'm just gonna let that part, because I can't obviously grab the part that I just glazed. But it can go from the inside, actually. So let's do this. Woo! I 
also just want a little bit of green to be on the inside too, and I don't really care to pour it, so I am just gonna sponge some on. Every, every once in a while, I don't do the dip pour method. And when you do sponging or brushing, you just really wanna make sure you put it on thick. Because when you're used to dipping everything or pouring everything, that puts it on real thick. All righty then. Last one, last one is buttercream. All right, all of our other layers are dry. So now my goal for this layer is to just have it slightly further extend that green. So probably right around there would be good. Shift in my hand. And then again, I'm just gonna sponge a little bit of buttercream in there. That's it, friends. That is it. So when I'll put this in the kiln, probably in a couple days, and then we'll see you when we unload it. What's up? I hope you're doing well today. I got some soup. I'm hungry. You know that movie, Ocean's Eleven, where Brad Pitt is literally eating something in every single shot? I thought I would try that out for this video. Mmm. Tomato basil, delicious. So good. Ooh, look at that steam coming off there. So I've spent all morning doing boring computer stuff. Not fun computer stuff. Like I feel like editing videos is fun computer stuff. I've been doing really boring computer stuff, like sending invoices and paying bills. But what I really wanted to do was just open up this kiln. Cause we have a giant flower pot in here. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna see if it works. Hmm, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. All right, I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. Oh, there's other stuff in here too. Glass coasters, mugs, a couple testers. Should we do that? So hot, but I just want to open the kiln. Oh, woo! What is it? 62 degrees. Okay. Ah! Oh. oh, I'm sure Brad Pitt was much, much more pleasing to watch than I was to just eat that soup. So, all right, let's do it. All right, you ready for it? You ready for this thing? There it is. Big old 15 pound. Oh. Ah, just kidding. Look at that. Look at that sweet northern lights. That is pretty. That is so, oh, I just love that color. It's so vibrant. Look at that. It actually looks kind of different on a giant pot Ooh. than it does on like just a mug. Like it kind of just gives it a little bit different. Really, really nice. Really nice. Boom. I'm just gonna leave this. Leave this right here. So you can just admire that. Okay, so this was a, I just was used, doing some testing for glazes. And uh, I actually tried to use a red underglaze on top of the Northern Lights, which is actually from Joel Cherico. If, you, if any of you guys watch his live videos, he uses that Amico Bright Red on top of some of his other glazes. So I thought I would try that since some of my pots kind of look like his, and I really, really like it. I don't know how well you can see this with that glare of the light, but I also tried a purple underglaze on top of all that stuff too, so excited for that. And then here, this is a candle holder. My wife like thinks that she's gonna get into candle making. So I threw this, and then she carved the top, and then I fired it upside down so that it would drip down. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can't really do that with functional stuff because you don't want the lip to be unglazed, even though it probably wouldn't really make that big of a difference. All right, here we go. Oh, all right, actually I'm gonna move this. So here's some glass coasters. This has black around the edge and then a little green on the inside with a little bit of overlapping green and black. Those turned out pretty, pretty sweet. 
some more of those like that like it a lot and then here was so these were just some testing so this was matte white around the edge with a blue in the middle this was matte white around the edge with black in the middle and that kind of looks I mean my opinion is that looks kind of disgusting or it just doesn't look just looks messy and not, not, not my fave what do you think? What do you think of this close up? Do you feel more, does it feel more intimate? This intimate, what a funny word. Or maybe that was purple. I like tried a purple underglaze. Cause if you use underglazes, you could literally get any color underneath that glass. Oh. All right, so here's some, these are a couple flower planters for EC. She bought a small one too. So these should match, should match that big one. There's another tester with some of that red in there. It's kind of cool. I wonder that red on top of the black. It looks like the red just melts to the bottom. Like instead of like meshing together. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's kind of kind of stands out a lot. What do you think of that? What do you think of that red? People love red, man. They love it. So this was just that straight up black, red and black. I like to have this, actually I'm glad I at least kind of have this option. People ask for red all the time and I say, well, I don't really do red. Or if I do, it's more like a maroony, maroony red. I really gotta write stuff down. Here's a test tile. This is just, I'm gonna start doing a bunch of tests. And so this was a test tile of Northern Lights. Northern Lights cup. Yeah, Northern Lights dripper. Here's a Mocha Monkey cup with a logo on Wink. Both sides. Here's this, that's kind of dumb looking. Glass coaster with a red, that Amico bright red underglaze. And then we got this, this little number, little candle holder my wife carved. And then I got a base for it too, which I put glass in. So it'll put a candle on there, do that. Bippity boppity, bippity boppity boo. If I had a lighter, I would light it. Think. And there it is. There she blows. The last thing, 16 ounce mug. That's it guys, that is it for this video. The star of this, the star of this video. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, jeez. Jeez, John, jeez. Definitely this guy. Thumbnail time. Ooh, that's heavy. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, all the things. Go on an adventure.